Today's video is brought to you by Honey and DoorDash. Okay. Why are you always moving my water? So it's even. It seems like it's even per your standards. I don't care what standards we use as long as it's symmetric and visible on camera, which now it's not. Do y'all have an asymmetric logo? Well, I want these mugs symmetric. I want mine to be like the Mike Wazowski of mugs. Hey brother, and welcome everyone to another edition of J vs. Ben, where today we are taking the world's hardest obscure spells quiz, which I have to tell you does sound very hard. Yeah, you're gonna crush this one. I'm 100% sure. We'll see. In case you are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Our younger brother Tyler is on the other end of the camera. He's waving, but you can't see him. He is going to be reading us the 10 quiz questions plus two quiz master questions from our patrons over on Patreon. Yes, and Ben and I will have to answer the questions from memory only, unless we both agree we have just no idea, in which case Tyler can read us the multiple choice. If you would like to play along with us, we've also included a link to this quiz in the description down below. I'm gonna lose. I feel like this is gonna be a real tip of the tongue. Mm. What, what was it? Kind of quiz. What was it again? Uh. Well, if all else fails, we can just put in Wadi Wasi for everything. And yeah. one, one in 12 chance, it's right. Yeah. Yeah. We got it. I get to uh, not know how to pronounce any of the words. Oh, great. Very exciting. Great, 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 great. <laughs> Question one What does the incantatian? Kidding, that was a joke. Question one, what does the incantation Deletrius do? Deletrius. Well, I have a guess. I do too, you know? I do too, I do mm -hmm. too. This is like, I don't know how they're gonna phrase, I was almost thinking like they would describe what the spell did and be like, what are the words? Yes, yes yeah. indeed. And if they had said what the spell in fact does, what is the incantation? I'd have been like, I don't know. Right. Because Deletrius is not something that was in my- Not registering? It's not my brain desk at all. Yeah. Like there's like a filing cabinet of like all of the spells that I know. Deletrius was like control alt Deletrius right. from my brain. I get it. Yeah. 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 I'm trying to like summon some of the audiobook words in my brain. It or sounds like something a teacher did. It does. It's like, it's like Harry's potion was full of brew. Mm. And then somebody was like, Deletrius. And then Snape came over and was like, Potter, where's yours? Hermione it's, was like, oh, I just I used the Deletrius out. spell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what was the question? I'm gonna go with, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna go oh, with this. Wow. Yeah, 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 why not? Um, this is gonna be one of those ones where it's like, it sounds like something, but then it actually means something just like completely unrelated. Okay, All right, ready? Go. Yep. Three, two, one. I said, make something vanish. I said, clears out a potion. Uh, you are both incorrect. Mm, but I thought we're close. It disintegrates the target. Yeah. Yeah. You know what that would make it do? No, that is a different spell. Vanish. Vanissimo. Okay, well, I think we had the the old gist of it, as they say. The old gist. The old gist. The good news is, is that I think we both got it equally right and equally wrong. That's so true. I feel like we got it right. I feel like we did too. Okay. We got a scale. Wow. Question two. Question two. What spell did Hermione use to help the Gringotts dragon escape? carving a passageway in the ceiling. Oh, you know it. I don't know, I'm pretty sure this is what I, this is one of those prime examples of something I thought I knew, but this actually means the opposite of what I think it means. But it was the first thing that came to my old noggin, so I went for it. Is this is this a spell word or the name of a spell? It is the incantation. I think we can all agree that it was Alohomora. <laughs> I'm just unlocking the way. Alohomora. I can like picture it. I can picture the scene I always imagine in my mind of this happening when I'm listening to it. Ugh, I, I also, know the, I'm like, I can put something down, but I don't think it's right. I, that is exactly Ugh, where I'm at. Like, it's okay, I'm like, the enjoyment that I get, people are always like, Ben, why don't you ever win? It's like, I get to watch Jay suffer. <laughs> that's the that, win. That's winning. Uh, but I know this, I like, I have what I'm pretty sure she's doing and I just don't know the word. And it's so frustrating. It makes me 100% sure I'm incorrect. Oh or else God. he's not thinking of something obvious. Three, two, one. I said Engorgio, but I don't I said Relatio. Okay. Relatio. I think it's like an expanding spell, isn't it? I was thinking like the breaking of the chains. Okay, I was thinking this is like her making the tunnel wider. Hmm. 
Okay, if that's the case, then definitely not what I was thinking. Okay, I don't know. What's the answer? The correct answer is Defodio! Defodio. I was gonna say Flipendo, but... <laughs> Flipendo! Defodio. That was not in my memory bank at all. Samesies though. My brain was like, we're not gonna cash that check because you're not gonna need that information ever. Yeah, oh! You need to think more about the quiz master. That's me. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> Question three. What does the incantation Evanesco do? Okay, I think I know this one. I can hear this one in my head. Yeah, you got it. <sighs> it's up there. It's up it's there. Up there. Just like, what's it do? Build the setting in your mind, you know? The setting I have is that scene in Daredevil where Elektra kills the sandbags and Evanescence is playing in the background. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Alexa, play Evanesco. Do that, do that. Put yeah. sa Imagine the sandbags. The sandbags. And then put wizards. <laughs> Alexa, oh, whoops. I forgot we have one now. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to know who's timing the sandbag drops. It's a really good question. <laughs> Perhaps part of her pre sandbag slashing warm up was setting a whole lot of like Christmas light timers to drop the bags in rhythm with the music. Or could it be, and I don't know how gravity works, but could it be that when the bags are empty, they no longer weigh enough to hold down the next bag, right? So it when she slices possible. it open, now that bag rises. I don't think that happens. I don't think that happens. Yeah. Yeah. But then the next one would fall. That yeah. would be a great way to do it. That would be yeah. a great way to do it. Mm -hmm. It's not practical. There's <laughs> like a lot of way you're saying clean up the sand. That's the worst. That's the worst. Anyway, <laughs> around of the shop back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you don't see after. That's not, that's not, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just Jennifer Garner walking around the shop back. <laughs> this one, I, I really, I promise, I can hear it. You can hear it. I can hear it in my yeah. head. Yeah. And you knew it right away. Right away. Right away. Yeah. While you think, I'm going to take a sip out of my Carlin Brothers coffee mug available at carlinbrothers.coffee.com. Ah, all right. Yeah. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> Clears out a potion. I said to clean a mess. That's so funny that that's what y'all said. It uh, vanishes objects. I feel quite positive that this spell is specifically used to clear out a potion. Could be. Which makes it vanish. Which you said earlier wasn't the same. <laughs> I, and that's exactly why you don't get the point. Because the first question you said vanishes an object, but it doesn't, it disintegrates. And now for our first Patreon Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted by Angus Keenan. To get your question in the quiz or to vote on questions for the quizzes, go to patreon.com slash supercarlinbrothers and select the Quizmaster tier. Question, what spell incantation did Harry use to defend himself from the Grindylo in the second task of the Triwizard Tournament? More importantly, how could he not find the Bubblehead charm? That is seriously a weird thing he could not find. It because, is seriously a weird thing he could because, not find. Because scuba yeah. diving is such like a popular thing. It's, it's such like, a well-known thing. Like how to breathe underwater. Oh, dude, if Fred and George so do not sell Gillyweed and Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, yeah. I'd be shocked. Weasley's Wizard Weeds. Weedses. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Thank okay, you. here's another thing about this scene in the movie that drives me crazy is that Emma Watson, who plays Hermione, randomly has like a super French accent when she's explaining to Harry that Fleur couldn't get past the Grindylos. Mm, Cause Fleur is French. Well, Fleur is French, but Fleur yeah. is not talking. Right. Emma Watson is talking, Hermione. She's like mocking her in the moment. I don't right. know. I don't read that. No, think so? No. Okay. Zagundilos. That's, that's what I've always thought. I know the scene you're talking about. Play the clip. I finished last time, Ivy. Oh, next to last. Flan never got past the Grindylos. See? 100%. Mocking. I stand by it. Not mocking. Let, let us know what you guys think. Down Pure below. venom. What is going on there? All right, I have a guess. Okay. Three, okay. two, one. Incendio. It's a bombarda. It is. Relax you. No, I had that written down right here. This is what that said. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm just because, ugh. I had it. I had it and I changed it because I was like, I remember the boiling water and I was like, what makes things hot? Fire, incendio, boom. Ugh. You guys know, you saw. You got tripped up. You saw my like, gut, I just got to go with my gut. You got tripped up by Zagundilos. Yeah, by Zagundilos. Question four. During a tussle with Malfoy, Crab, and Goyle, Harry cast Frenunculus. What does it do? That's I would go happened. multiple choice. Okay. I would like to give myself a shot to get okay, something yeah. correct on let's this go, quiz. Let's do it, let's do it. The kids at home are gonna be like, listen, Ben, 
we're not tuning in anymore if you get none right. Like yeah. it was one thing for you to lose, but if you don't get anything, then we're done with you. Okay. Is it A, produces great ugly boils on the target? B, causes the target's teeth to endlessly grow? C, causes the target to uncontrollably dance? Or D, causes the target to forcibly fall over? Okay, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Boils. Boils. Yeah. Ah, the answer is A, boils. Yes. Boils for goils. Boil, as they say. Goils, boils, sounds like a great Diagon Alley shop. Like where you serve like soup or something? Or like boiled hot dogs. <laughs> Exclusively the worst way to prepare a hot dog <laughs> is boils. Gregory Goyle selling muggle hot dogs here on <laughs> Diagon Alley. Boiled in butter beer. Yeah. <laughs> boiled in butter beer. Oh man, okay, so have you guys ever had boiled peanuts before? Uh, I think so. Do you eat the shell? I think you can. Yeah. Oh. I think so, this is like a South Carolina thing, right? It sounds fibrous. Mm -hmm. Fibrous indeed. Yeah. Are the peanuts soft? <clears throat> Yeah. The entire appeal of boiled peanuts, or the entire appeal of peanuts, rather, is that they're crunchy. That is what they offer. That is what they offer. What about peanut butter? Well, it's different. It's sweet. That's smooth. <laughs> You're a crunchy man, aren't you? Well, <laughs> creamy peanut butter Not is for no. peanut butter amateurs. Okay. Crunchy peanut butter is like the debutante of peanut butters. Wow. The debutante. Wow. If you're into peanut butter, wow. you're a crunchy guy through and through. Did you that just is, watch Bridgerton? That is so not true. <laughs> it's if you're, so true. If you're a if you like Skippy in a tube, Tyler, uh, you don't do peanut butter. The fact that you're describing brands, if you're a peanut butter guy, you're like mixing your own in a blender. And it's <gasps> it has got a crunch to it. <clears throat> no. Got a little bit of a crunch. You need a better blender. <laughs> so, yeah. Honestly, the, be the peanut butter we've been getting lately, it is so liquidy that you don't even need to speak. You can just like, you can just like just pour it out. Ew. It's a little too, Ew. I know, I'm like. <laughs> you are so wrong about peanut butter. It tastes really good. I wish it was a little thicker. Me too. But when I'm Beth, kind of upset when to Beth know it exists. <laughs> makes her own peanut butter, that's the best. Hey, what question are we on? Five. Okay. Flying. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> question five. First used in the Fantastic Beasts films, what does the spell nebulous do? Nebulous. Man. Nebulous. Okay, okay. Nebulous, nebulous, nebulous. 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 Three, two, one. I said it makes a magical barrier. I used to make it rain. Make it rain. Oh, mm. you're gonna know, like cumulonumulus or something. That's sort of what I was yeah, thinking. Yeah, nebulous. I was, I was thinking, thinking weathery. Like, I was thinking like orb. I'm uh, thinking like when, when Credence is in like the subway and they're making that like barrier so the, the muggos don't get, the nomads don't get in. I think if you had not explained that, I would have given you the point. Ah, no, 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 come on. <laughs> what do you got, what do you got? What does it say? Uh, it creates a swirling fog in the surrounding area. But you said you specifically meant not weather. Oh man! Oh, so, so it's what Dumbledore it's a Dumbledore does. does. Yeah. I feel like I'm closer. I think you're. Closer. I think you're closer. Yeah. If Jonathan didn't say anything, fog is a magical barrier. Works for the Amazons in Wonder Woman. I think we got it equally wrong. <laughs> this right. one. This one more so. <laughs> man, you're right. So this is the the funny thing about this is Jude Law found out who's gonna play Dumbledore and was like on vacation and was like out in the woods like practicing with like a stick. Yeah. Doing like all these like cool like casting spells yeah. and then the only thing he had to do was like that. That was boring. Yeah. He does something in the um, the classroom too, right? He hits the. Knocks the kid back or something. Yeah, but it's but pretty. Still it's pretty genteel. Didn't you know? For Dumbledore. For Dumbledore. You get a real you big know, fight. If you've right seen now. him in the Order of the Phoenix, <sighs> you know, the Ministry. Yeah. It's pretty wild. Pretty good. I really like the noise when they make the big yeah, water it orb. It's like <laughs> good, good uh, sound engineering. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Foley artist. Foley. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I knew that too. Yeah. <laughs> Question six: An upset Hermione uses the Jinx Opungo on Ron and Half Blood Prince. In this particular circumstance, what did it do? Mm-hmm. I think I got it. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. So it makes birds attack him. Ah, so it created a tiny flock of birds that attack him. You are both correct! Yay! We did it! We did it! Oh, my goodness. We finally got one. <laughs> oh, oh, it feels good, it, too. Oh, look at that. Only halfway through. Wait, that halfway eight. through? Hold on. Over halfway. Oh, no. I feel like I know where this is going. And he's gone. Get rid of all this stuff. All right, while Ben's off on the scenic route doing who knows what, I guess I'm gonna tell you about today's sponsor. 
honey. Actually, you know what? If he comes back from the scenic route with honey, I'll give him a pass. But that's not the kind of honey we're talking about today. Today, I'm talking about online shopping because I don't know about you guys, but most of my shopping these days is online. Honey is a free browser extension that just scours the entire internet for coupon codes and plugs them in when you are at checkout and gives you the best deal it finds. Here's how it works. You can get Honey, again, for free in two easy clicks. And that's pretty much all you have to do when you're checking out. It'll just pop up and say like, applying coupons. And if it finds a good one or any at all, it will apply them for you and you have saved money. And this just ensures that you're always getting the best possible deal. You never have to see that promo code section at checkout and like go search on a bunch of other sites. It, it just does it for you. And let me just tell you, if for no other reason, you should get this for ordering pizza because hands down, this is where I save the most money. Because pizza places always have a deal running. If you're playing full price for pizza, you get, you need to, you need, you, you need to stop doing that. But they're always switching around and I never know where I'm supposed to be aiming, but that's where Honey is great because it'll just run through all the available codes they have out there and give you the best one for whatever you want. Like I have no joke saved 10, $15 on a single order before. It is such a game changer. That's $15 you could be spending on actual Honey. There's really just no reason not to have it because you just install it, it's free, it works on whatever browser you're using and you save money. And again, you can get Honey for free today when you go to joinhoney.com slash J verse B. Again, go to joinhoney.com slash J verse B and install Honey on your browser today. One more time, joinhoney.com slash J verse B so they know that we sent you. Link is in the description down below. And thanks so much to Honey for sponsoring today's episode. Hello and welcome to The Scenic Route, where we don't simply sit at a desk, we go places! And we talk about today's other sponsor, DoorDash! Now listen, losing these quizzes week in, week out, really works up an appetite. So whenever I'm going on one of these little jaunts, I like to have something delicious headed my way. And really, I've kind of done it all. I mean, donuts, pizza, hot wings, ice cream, but today I was feeling a little bit healthier, so I have smoothies on the way. And it really is is just so easy with DoorDash. They connect you with the restaurants that you love and get you the food that you want right now, right to your door. And ordering is easy. Open the DoorDash app, choose what you want and where you want it from, and your items will be left safely outside your door with the contactless delivery drop-off setting. And with over 300,000 partners in the US, Puerto Rico, and Canada, you can get just about anything from your favorite local go-tos or national chains like Popeyes, Chipotle, or the Cheesecake Factory. And for a limited time, our viewers can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on an order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and use code JVersusB2021 at checkout. Again, that is $25 off up to a $10 value and free delivery fees on an order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and use code JVersusB2021 at checkout. Don't forget that's going to be code J versus B 2021 for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Jay has been looking for the honey literally everywhere, so I'm going to go hide it somewhere. And I'm Jeff. back! Have fun? I always have fun on the yeah. scenic route. Yeah, it looks fun. We all have a good time without you. Question seven. What incantation would you use to conjure a bouquet of flowers from your wand? I know who does it. Yeah. Does that help? Nope. I'll go multiple choice. Okay. Oh boy. Is it A, Orchidius, B, Gladiolus, C, Narcissus, or D, Lilium? All right, three, two, one. I said A. I said oh, Gladiolus, no. B. I was guessing though. The answer is A. Yes! Orchidius. Oh, you're kidding me. Or Orchids. Orchids. Uh, that was the one I was like, that's that's lame. I feel like it was definitely not <laughs> Narcissa or Lily. Yeah. Surprised they didn't have like Petunias or something. Yeah, right, right, right. Okay, so have you guys ever heard mm. that the way you're supposed to water an orchid is with ice cubes? Slash, have you ever tried so. it? Um, we have an orchid. You do have an orchid and yeah. it's alive? Yeah, well, well, it's alive done. for over a year. Holy cow. Yeah. Why do you want an orchid? It was a gift from our realtor when we bought our new house. Nice. Yeah. I had a much, Last challenging gift from my realtor, and it's dead. 
Oh. It was a rabbit. No, I'm kidding. It was a <laughs> it's like, whoa, <laughs> what a weird gift. It, Thomas is a wild guy. You, you never know. <laughs> and now it's time for the second quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Luke Gibson. Good name. Question. What is the incantation that puts a buzzing <clears throat> in nearby people's ears so you can have a private conversation? Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Muffliato. Muffliato. Fun fact. There's no L, at least in the answer on the quiz. But uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay, cool. Pretty sure there is an L because it's like muffling. That's what I thought too. Yeah. That might be one of those things where like, if there's not an L, I'm 100% sure that that's not me misremembering it. That's me genuinely believing there's one there. Yeah. Like, that's a spell that I would know. Yeah. Mo like, muffliato. Muffliato. Unless it's muffiato. Muffiato. Mm, Which I, I, it's like, you could hear how it could be different. Yeah. We can, we can fact check it, but obviously we knew what it was. We knew what it was. Yeah. Question eight. In Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry uses the spell Descendium. What does it do? Got it. It's kind of a long answer, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Okay. I feel like we have the same thing then. Three, two, one. Said, open the witch's hump to Honey Dukes. Yes. Correct. Secret yeah. passage to Honey Dukes. This was like, if it says like, creates a set of stairs beneath the hump, I'd have been like, that's stupid. The official spell description is a charm that reveals hidden passageways. I don't even huh. feel like that's accurate. I don't think that's accurate. I yeah. think that it's specifically this one. Yeah. Well, the correct answer on the quiz was opens a statue to gain access to Hogsmeade. So that's what we put. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Specifically, honey dudes. Question nine. While testing the Triwizard Tournament champion's wands, Mr. Ollivander casts Avis. What does Avis do? Three, two, one. It's not making dove appear. You said make a bird. <laughs> make a bird. Yeah. <laughs> you make a bird. <laughs> bird. I will both I will give both of you the point. Yeah. The the correct answer is conjures a small flock of birds. Okay. Yeah, I'm sticking that with sounds that. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Didn't do it. That would be the one where if you had the multiple choice, it would have been extremely obvious. Yeah. Unless it was the other answers were The other answers were a murder of crows, a single bird, and opens doors. <sighs> <laughs> that can't be right. That's not it. No, that's Whoa. not it. Did you see me just save this I saw iPad? that, yeah. Yeah. Wow, <sighs> magic. I don't want to save a hero or anything, but that was pretty cool. And finally, question 10. Severus Snape invented the smell. Smell. <laughs> yep. Something greasy. <laughs> Something greasy this way comes. Severus Snape invented the spell Langlock. What does Langlock do? Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. It's like a tongue tire curse, right? Tongue stuck to the roof of the mouth. Mm, I bet you. I think yours is more specifically correct. Ben's is more specifically correct. It is affixes the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Mm, what? There you go. I said ties the tongue or stops you from talking. But I'm going to give Ben the point exclusively, which means I don't know who won. I'm pretty sure it's a tie then. Well, it depends. <gasps> it depends on who got it. <laughs> You're right. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> One of us won. Hold on. We can we look tied. it up. We can look it up right now. We can. Evanesco? Evanesco. 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 The, the daredevil one. The daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> Wake me up. Can Wake me up inside. That song pumps me up to this day. Like, it's like my like every workout playlist. I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah, yeah. It, uh. That adds up. Okay, okay. Look, see, it says, did you do everything on the third line? Potter. No, said Harry very quietly. I beg your pardon. No, said Harry more loudly. I forgot the hellebore. I know you did, Potter, which means this mess is utterly worthless. Evanesco. The word mess is literally used. Yeah, but it's not because it's on the floor. Oh, man. The contents of Harry's potion vanished. He was left standing foolishly beside an empty cauldron. You're right. I wish I hadn't dictated the term so specifically, but the word mess mm -hmm. is literally in the sentence. Well, I'll tell you, Ben. I still don't know who won. I think it was me then. But Ben got at least one correct, so the kids are staying. The yeah. kids are wow. staying. For the children. <laughs> If you know, you know. If you know, you know. But let's face it, you know. Guys, don't forget to head on over to carlinbrotherscoffee.com and check out our awesome selection of coffee. Yeah, we have coffee and tea and honey and mugs and shirts. That's about it. Candles. Candles! Did you say how chocolate? I didn't say either of those. We have both of those Maybe as we well. should try it again. No, I love this. Okay. Well, I think we'd run with it. We have candles, and if you melt the candles down, inside are little magical charms you can collect. Guys, for our question of the day, how did you do on the quiz? Did you beat us? And also, how do you like your peanut butter? Creamy or country? Strong opinions only, please. Leave them in the towel section. Special thanks to these patrons who support oh. Super Carlin Brothers on Patreon. Yeah. 
Hey, so, whoa! Thank you so much. You Look guys up. are the best. You guys really truly are. The people that keep us running uh, day in, day out. Such good questions. Obviously way better than the actual quiz questions. Well, uh, way better. Way, way better. Way more stump worthy. Top as were. tier. Right, like if you were to cut down a tree, what would be left is the stump worthiness yeah. of these questions. That's a great way to put it. I knew it. Let's go get an ax. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching today's video. Don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. If you'd like to see Slughorn's Dark Secret, you can check out this video right here. Or if you'd like to hear more of Tyler's voice, you can check out his podcast, Bacon and Eggs, right here. But otherwise, until next time, bye. bye.